Tonight at 9, the Escambia County Sheriff's Office releasing never before seen video from a 2019 mass shooting on a military base. Yeah, this four minute clip shows first responders heading straight into danger just moments after an active shooter opened fire aboard NAS Pensacola. Our Shelby Myers joining us here in studio with a closer look and Shelby, this video is intense. Yeah, it's very intense, Byron and Lenny, so we want to warn you some of it might be disturbing, but it does give a glimpse into the horrific heroic actions of first responders that December day two years ago, a day three sailors lost their lives to a terrorist. Take a listen. December 6th, 2019, a day of terrorism on the NAS Pensacola military base. So gunshots have been reported in building 633, specifically the aviation safety building. We've got all of our deputies headed that way uh, to respond. And there's a uh, large number of police officers that are entering the area right now. For the first time in nearly two years, the Escambia County Sheriff's Office releasing this four minute long video showing the massive response by first responders when a Saudi aviation student opened fire. Saw him go into one of the rooms and shoot people. Ma'am. Ma'am, are you are you in the area where it was going on? Yes, we are in the classroom still. These are some of the haunting 911 calls from hundreds of people on the base hunkered down for hours just praying they would make it out alive. The only person I saw in front of me was the guy in the green flight suit and the green jacket, and then I heard gunshots and people falling. In a barrage of gunfire, these three sailors were killed. Airman Mohammed Heithman, Ensign Joshua Watson, and Airman Cameron Walters. Eight others were injured. Two of those were deputies. Ultimately, law enforcement would take out the suspect, a self-radicalized member of Al-Qaeda, according to the FBI. One male down, he's wearing a white suit. He's got an arm to the AR. Those injured were taken to local hospitals, and many became heroes that day. All right, listen, are you good? I'm good. Hey, we're, just get me the point in there, ambulance. This moment captured by dash camera video encompassing the selfless act of a deputy offering to continue helping others, even though he had taken a bullet himself. We've got an officer down. No, they're busy, man. I'm not hurt that bad. There's going to be worse. The two deputies that uh, initially engaged uh, the, the suspect, one was shot in the arm and one was shot in the knee, both expected to survive. Mm. So many chilling moments throughout that whole video. Escambia County Sheriff Chip Simmons there says they released it today to honor the three who lost their lives and also thank those who risked theirs to protect others.